state police are the ones who don't recognize decriminalization. I hear so many stories about the kids who don't know about their rights. And these individuals make sure to take advantage of what they don't know, all with medical, with marijuana, which is decriminalized in the state of Boston. So why are they hassling the young people? Because they know they can. Just like Amata Coakley, who doesn't know the real meaning behind medical marijuana, that she says it's a headache. I mean, our attorney general saying it's a headache? Come on now. We want you on board with us. If this thing does get passed, we need to know that we've got an attorney general that's going to implement it right. We're not trying to badger. We're not trying to take her down. We want her to join us. Unfortunately, I have no hope for our state police because they'll never join us. But you know what? We can still win this war. We can win this war on weed. We can win this war on medical marijuana. We can finally maybe get marijuana legalized. If more of us get together like this and take a stand and show your passion and show what, you, what it means to you and start fighting amongst one another in our movement, we need to come together. I'm sick and tired of seeing the fights. I want us all on this hill. Everybody should be with us. That's what it's about. This man I wear on my shirt. He's spending five years in a federal penitentiary due to our own DEA. It's not right. His own, his own government turned him in. Our government turned him in. It's not right. I don't see people getting mad that our own DEA went inside Canada, a sovereign nation, and took this man, Mark Emery, to jail. I know it's another story, but you need to find out about Mark Emery because it's happening, people. They don't want you to believe it, but it's happening, people. The things that are happening in our eyes got to stop. We need more of us to come out. Please come out and join us. Please bat stop all the grief and the fighting and the infighting. Let us get together and get this passed once and for all. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. All right, and with that, I want to thank everyone for getting and coming here. I want to thank Mike Ken. He's the one who's been doing the political end of it. Okay, you guys see me a lot, but I do the entertainment end of it. This man I learned from, the King of Pot learns from, he's doing it. He's not doing it for ego. He's doing it because he's got the passion. And that's what we want. We want those with the passion, not the want to be pot stars. I'm sick and tired of hearing everybody wanting to be pot stars. We want to see activists out here. Pot stardom comes later. We want activism out here. Pot stardom comes later, folks. Come and join us. Let's make weed marijuana legalized once and for all in my lifetime. Thank you, the king of pot.